Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we are pulling out the gearbox in the 180. It's coming out. I've got another one that I need to put in, um, but I want to pull this one out and open it up because I just like to see, I've never opened up a gearbox. I want to see what's happening inside the gearbox. I want to see if, it, if it's damaged or anything like that. So we're going to do that today. But before I show you that, I need to show you some additions to the garage. First is the bench. I built the bench and painted it. Second is the bench on the other side. I uh, complete, this side was not utilized at all. It was just, you know, a little bit of storage and a paint cabinet. So I completely built the bench, welder underneath here, gearbox underneath there, some more storage. It's, so now I've got a bench that I can utilize. The third and final addition to the garage, which is the most exciting part. For as long as I can remember, I've always wanted one and I finally got one. And that is a mid-rise scissor lift. And there it is there. This is a high lift Weil 635B scissor lift. Um, it's a mid-rise, so it goes up to about a meter. And as you can see, I've actually built some extension platforms. Um, I've extended it obviously because my car's so low. And this thing is amazing. I can't wait to show you this and I can't wait to pull the gearbox out. It's just gonna make life a hell of a lot easier. Um, I'm limited by my ceiling height. So that's why I had to go with a mid-rise scissor lift. I will put up a video of me grabbing this, unboxing it, putting it together, and also doing the extension for anybody that's interested in a mid-rise scissor lift. So that video is coming soon. Um, however, right now, let's pull out the gearbox. Alright guys, welcome. We are underneath the car right now and now we have to take off looking at, um, you know, what's required to be removed in order to get the gearbox out. First thing we've got to do is take off the tail shaft. So I've WD-40 at the back of the bolts here where it goes up to the diff and then take off the hoop here, the loop that holds the, the joint and then the, the tail shaft should slide out of the gearbox at the front there. Now it's time to start undoing the gearbox. I'm gonna drain the fluid first, and then I'm gonna take off the slave, undo any cables that might be on here, you know, like undo these connectors. And once I've freed up everything, I'm gonna take the shifter out as well from the top. Then I'm gonna undo the gearbox mounts under here, and then take it out. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so I've taken out majority of the bolts. I've only left two bolts left in the gearbox, plus the two bolts that hold the gearbox mount up. Now, the reason why I've done that is because I needed to lower the car, which I've done so, as you saw, and I've set it up. Now, I've got it ready. I've got my trolley jack underneath, and I'm gonna use that to lower the gearbox. But before I do that, I need to make a gearbox transmission jack mount, a gearbox transmission jack mount. I just said the same thing. I have to make a transmission jack mount for my trolley jack, so I'm gonna do that now. I've got some steel, just a round bar that's gonna sit in the trolley jack. I'm gonna weld it to this plate and a timber's gonna go on the top and that's what's gonna support the gearbox. All right, so let's make it.
And there we have it, guys. There's the transmission jack done. Welded, plus the timber, bolted through. So it's nice and flush. Just recess the bolt heads a little bit. And uh, yeah, and then that goes over here. And it fits in this little hole, like this. And there you go. That is gonna hold the gearbox up. Let's go, take the gearbox out. It's just like it's hitting on the top of the chassis, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so as you can see, the gearbox has been separated from the motor. However, it's hitting up there in the, uh, up against the chassis. So I don't know if I need to angle it down in order to get it out or, because it looks like it needs to go back more that way before I can angle it down to get it out. But um, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm just gonna wiggle it around, try and get it out. Keep going. That's it. Watch yourself. I am right, I'm right. Slightly. Oh, you f oh, We are. Does that stand up? Oh, okay. Okay. Go up a little bit more. Just slide it back towards you a little bit. Pull it towards you. All right. All right. Me dead. Oh, the light just died. Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's out, so much. It's just. It's it needs a little bit more, bro. Yeah. It needs a little bit more. All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Drop it down a touch, eh? What was that? The, the timber. The timber. Jack, yeah, the you know what the problem is? It's the tunnel. The tunnel's stopping it from going out. I'm gonna smash the fuck out of it, bro. Oh, actually? Yeah. I'm gonna smash it. I'm going to. I'm going to massage it. <laughs> as we say. All right, guys, I need to give you a hint on how to get the gearbox out. It's gonna get stuck on the gearbox tunnel. So what you need to do is you need to undo the front subframe a little bit. So the steering rack, there's four bolts, two on either side, undo them and drop it down ever so slightly. And then you need to pull the gearbox mount off. So the gearbox mount that's actually mounted on the gearbox that then goes to the chassis, it needs to come off because what you need to do is you need to twist the gearbox in order to free it up and, you know, pull it out, right? So now it's time to drop it, let's go. So we got the gearbox out. What a pain in the ass that was, but uh, here it is. There's heaps of oil in here, so obviously my rear main oil seals had it. The gearbox looks all right. It's a bit of shaft play in the input shaft. The throw out bearing looks all right. I'm gonna check it all, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it. So now, the way this comes out, like that, that comes off. The fork comes out, like that. Look at the grease in there, look at the, look at that junk. There's a pivot ball. I've already just started undoing this. So let's take out these bolts. Okay, this should just pop out like that. There's a circle here that we need to take off and that will allow us to take the bell housing off after we undo the bolts. Should, theoretically. So let's take off that. Just like that. Pro clip. Okay, now time to undo these bolts. What we can do though, is we can stand the gearbox up. It's exciting, it's the first time I'm ever opening a gearbox. There is a way to take this off by smashing it on the floor, like drop it and it'll, it should fall apart. He's gonna drop it guys. <laughs> I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> yeah, there's no other bolts here that I can see. 
Look at this sludge, bro. Look at this sludge. This has got like metal. This is all metal shavings. That is no good. You can't find them, grind them. You can't find them, <laughs> grind them, bro. That's it. I'm going to test slamming it on the floor. That theory? Yeah, I'm going to test that theory. Okay. I'm going to see how it goes. <laughs> Ready? All right, guys, there's another circle clip in here we've got to take off. But there's no holes for it to, you know, sort of grab. So you just got to push the two ends in and or out and try and get it off. Okay, that's the other circle clip. All right, so now let's try and whack this. Try and separate the silicon. Whoa! Oh, yeah, I've got to hold it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good? Go. There you go. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna hammer it in and then pry it. Smack it. Here we go. There you go. All right, here we go. All right, you ready? Go. Gear set. Wow. That's a good leak. It does look good, eh? It's all right, we're gonna put this on the bench now and assess it. All right, so we're assessing the gearbox now. We're seeing how the gear sets look. The gear sets look pretty decent. There's no chips. That's caught, but. That just caught. All right, so we're looking at the gear set, the actual gears. The gears look good, right? Now we've got to check the synchros. The synchros are these gold bits. All right, I'm, pr I'm happy that the gear sets are not stuffed. All that grinding and stuff over the years. I actually thought they were going to be a little bit worse, to be honest. So we had second gear issues and reverse issues. I think reverse is in here. So we have to pull out the other part of the casing. First. Second. Third, fourth, look at that, look at that, look at all that, can you see it's all that? pouring out. But it's metal. So the filings there. And then we have reverse. Okay, hang on. Trust the reverse. Let's see if it goes in. All right, I'm gonna pull the rest of it apart tomorrow. So far, we've assessed the gears and they look good. We just gotta work out the synchros, double check all the synchros, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Gearbox all, man. Double check all the synchros and then um, find out what's going on back here. And hopefully we can get down to the bottom of it and then we can work out uh, what to do to fix it. See you tomorrow. <laughs>